I have been asked to make an updated version of some old tutorials that I made on how to block pornography for free with a special emphasis on how self moderators can be successful. So this will show you how to block it for a friend, for your kids, and it will give you some really great ideas for self moderators as well. And this has become my go to tool. It's called Cold Turkey Blocker Pro. And what I really like about it, I'll go over. So you go to this blocks section, hit new block. And then right here is where you type everything in, right? So if you want to type in specific websites, you do that here. You have this import list where they have pre-made lists where you can select categories. So you can block all porn, games, gambling, etc. You hit one of those and it's going to add all of these to your list. Another feature about this that makes it really great is that you can block specific search terms. So people that are trying to self-moderate, they kind of know what their triggers are or the things that they're most commonly going to search, whether that's a name or keyword, whatever it may be, you can type that in specifically. So this is just an example. So I will have this in the video details that you can just copy and paste. But essentially right here between these last two stars is where you will type in whatever it is that you want blocked. And so those are the keywords. You hit add, you're going to save it. We're going to let's just save it as a test. Okay. So the other reason that I recommend this as my go to is because there are so many options for blocking it. So right now it's unlocked, right? So when we click on that, you've got timers, time range, I don't recommend those delay restart your computer, I don't recommend any of that. Uh, basically, there's password, which I believe you have to pay for it to have the password. And that is, okay, the person that's helping you, your sponsor, your spouse, your parent, whatever, you give them the password. Um, for people that are self-moderating, they have this random text function. And I think this is probably what's going to make it very appealing for a lot of people. So you can type in how many different characters and essentially whatever is put on the screen in order to unlock it once you turn this on you have to type in that exact characters so and I like that you can personalize as well so let's say you have got a, a thousand characters right okay so the, right now it's set up as random words and it's gonna take you three to seven minutes to type that in so that's not very long so what I do for the people that I'm trying to help with this I put in a random gibberish okay so now it is letters characters if they are trying to unlock this, they have to type this in. You cannot copy and paste it. Um, and they have a function here where you can show or hide where they have typos. So if they don't do it perfectly, then they just can't unlock it. Typically, having this kind of roadblock is enough of a time investment that in my experience, it's, it's enough to dissuade self moderators from going searching for stuff that they know they shouldn't. So we hit save. And um, the other thing that's really cool about this is that let's say you want to add something new to it. Well, you can add stuff here when it's turned on. You don't have to unlock it for people, again, for self moderators or for, you know, your kids that you're trying to protect. If they find something that they want to block and add to this list. So you click on that and it has this option to continue with restrictions. So continue that and you can type in whatever it is that you want to block so they found some website that they're wasting all of their time on you know you want to block instagram sorry i'm typing one-handed here so add that in and they can save it without ever having to actually unblock it unlock it okay so that's a really fantastic feature the other reason so this is actually an extension the other reason i like this is that if you have tech savvy kids or that you know that know how to get around this stuff they realize it's an extension they're just going to go turn it off well cold turkey realizes that somebody is trying to disable it and it might take one minutes um, but it's going to realize that it's trying to be disabled and it's going to just boot you off it's going to shut down your whole internet browser and it won't let you log back on there it goes all right it was disabled you turned off the extension so now you can't use the internet at all so when you go back to try to open the internet back up it's going to have this little note okay so you have 60 seconds to re-enable it or else we're going to kick you off the computer again so you only have 60 seconds access if you don't have this blocker on if you want some additional methods for blocking pornography for free, I will put a link to some of my older videos that have different methods. You can try out all of them work. Uh, this one is just what I have found to be the most effective.